Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Karen's Math Hacks. Today's Math Hack is because I did something on the board and one of my students said, hey, where'd that come from? What did you just do? So let's take a look at it. Today we're talking about dividing a mixed number by a whole number. So let's look at a mixed number. Let's do 22 and a third over 7. All right, we're told to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. That's 66, 67 thirds divided by 7 over 1. And then invert and multiply 67 over 3 times 1 over 7. So we get 67 over 21. And then we have to simplify. So that is 3 and 421. All right, that sounds like an awful lot of extra math to me. All right, we're working with 67s and su such. That's, uh, that's pretty ugly. Okay, let's look at the way I do it. It was 22 and a third divided by 7. I'm going to split this into 21 over 7 plus 1 and a third over 7. All right, this will give us the whole number, 3. And now we're just looking at the fractional part. All right. So this is what we change into an improper fraction. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have 4 thirds divided by 7. All right. That is 4 over 3, 1 over 7, which gives us 4 over 21. So our answer is 3 and 4 21s, just like we just had. Let's look at uh, 67 and 3 fourths divided by 12. All right. We pulled the 60 out because we know that makes 5. There's 7, seven and 3 fourths left over. Now it's when we do the improper fraction thing. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 3 is, is 31. So we got 31 over 4, 1 over 12, and we get 31 over 48. That's our fraction. If we were to do it the normal way, we'd end up with some really ugly numbers here. One more example. 57 and an eighth divided by 4. All right, 15 times 4 is 60, so that means that we're looking at 14 times 4, which would be 56. 56 over 4 plus 1 and an eighth over 4. Okay, we said we knew this when it was 14. Now, 1 and an eighth gives us 9 eighths and 1 fourth. So that gonna, that's going to give us 932s. So you can see this works with some really ugly numbers and simplifies it quite a bit. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing or hitting the like button. I'll be posting another math hack next week.